Good morning, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. Well, we're back home uh, and happy to be here. Barakai was beautiful, uh, not without its problems as we all have discussed in other videos, but we had a lovely time, a beautiful wedding, beautiful meeting uh, my sons again, um, just all around terrific. Uh, my sons and their friends got to meet Beth and, and Talek, like as it happened. Uh, and as you probably just heard, uh, the dogs have been waiting until I go on video to start going to hell. <laughs> All right, well, they've stopped now. Well, a lot of the time we get, we get criticized for, and this is not dealing with trolls, I'm talking about people of good intent who actually know a lot about McDonald's and uh, wish that uh, they were not there. In many ways, I f feel the same. Just a minute, I've got a wild creature flying around. That's gone. <clears throat> and how we consider that it's a treat to take a load of kids to McDonald's. Well, we all know the stories about McDonald's, how, uh, I mean, they've, they've had horrendous things uh, claimed about them. Um, and, of course, it was a great irony that they decided to start publishing uh, <laughs> some of the, uh, the good content of their stuff. Well, I tried that myself. I, I bought some... I bought a... a portion of fries and I put on top of the fridge in the same box never touched it and of course two or three months later we had a look at it and uh, it really looked as if you'd if I stuck them in the microwave they would have tasted as good as ever or, or as bad as ever depending on your viewpoint so what is what is it about McDonald's well the marketing is such that kids love the idea of McDonald's and we took We've taken a couple of parties now of kids who, for them, because they've been watching TV and they see these wonderful pictures, uh, wonderful um, stories, images, um, whole, the whole uh, magic of McDonald's, uh, and they've, they've had it uh, literally just thrust at them ever since they were born here in the Philippines and at home as well. Well, they still want to go. There's still a playground there which they don't get anywhere else, uh, not quite like that. Um, and it's still, it's still a magical adventure for them, which is why we take them. And here's the other irony. When you're in the Philippines, it's a different menu that is. I mean, there's all the same menu that's supplied, but there's also a different thing. They have rice. They have rice and they have chicken. So, what do our kids who are so thrilled at the idea of going to McDonald's have when they get there? Do they have a burger and fries? Do they have a, a fillet of fish? Oh, what magical things could they have? Do they have apple pies and on? No, they don't have that. When we go, the last time I think, I think we took 23 kids took 23 children, launched them into McDonald's. Oh no, I think it was about 12 or 14 when we took Sarah the blind girl. Well, Sarah the blind girl only knows about McDonald's, obviously, through the sound of the commercials that they have and how magical it is and, and what her siblings tell her. So she went there with different expectations, but she still wanted to go. And the last time we went to see her, which was yesterday, what did she ask us to do? Take her back to McDonald's. So, what do the kids order when they go there? Filipino kids? Chicken and rice. <laughs> uh, 14 uh, orders of chicken and rice. What's the choices there? Well, do you want one piece of chicken or do you want two? And that's the that's the uh, the choices. So, whenever I go with Beth, I go with Beth and I go with Talek and perhaps Bibi, uh, Bachoy. It's just a question of I order what I want and they have chicken and rice. So, why am I 
Why am I even bothering to talk about McDonald's? Well, it's not because I've been paid by them to, to boost their sales. I just got, uh, among all of the, because we said about, about Sarah and her wanting to go to McDonald's next, uh, we get several um, good, uh, well-based um, comments uh, one comment uh, one comments was that uh, that McDonald's will now see the deterioration of, of, of diet in the Philippines as soon as you have fast food that's what happens and you'll start seeing fatter Filipinos it just is inevitable I think it's inevitable so what's the the comment that that really got me was from let me see I've got my glasses on but I'm still squinting it was from Howard Davis and Howard on the subject of McDonald's said my grandmother had fried chicken and fried potatoes at least three times a week and lived just shy of her 98th birthday did not matter what anybody said all you, and here's the quote that I just love. It says, all you can do is love them. And that really is it, isn't it? All you can do with all of these differences in opinions, on diet, on the way that they live, on the way that anybody lives, be it the treadmill that uh, perhaps describes the way of life in, um, in America, well, in the West, the treadmill uh, that you are on as soon as you go on that route of you want it all. You can, you can have it all. Look at how many of the, uh, the motivational speakers will say, you can have it all. You can uh, the wish, the, the, the secret. Uh, all, all of those things are all about having it all. And in the Philippines, if you're paying attention you will realize that you don't have to have it all in order to be happy. If having it all was the major component of being happy, very few people in the Philippines would be able to raise a smile. And I always like to say that there are more smiles per mile in the Philippines than anywhere else in the world that I've been and I, I still maintain that uh, and it, I will get it back to that last comment I, I just love this comment to say because it, what, it's, what it's saying is what Howard is trying to say is no matter the differences that people have in you to you in the end all you can do, and you can aspire to this because this is not an easy thing, all that you can do is love them. And if you take that to bed with you tonight, or you get up this in the morning with that on your mind, boy, I think you will be a much happier person. Thanks for looking in. This is a foreigner in the Philippines. We're glad to be home.